Hello everyone, I'm Eric Schmorris. Welcome back to Minecraft. Quest 100%. We're in the Journey to the End World, the new version of the Journey to the End World. Dude, the, why are there so many wolves everywhere? Um... And why is there a cow... Oh, he is in the fence. I, he looked like he was outside the fence. Um... I need to find a village. So, there's a few achievements. And I was scared because there was an update for Minecraft. I'm like, please don't add any more achievements. Uh, it didn't. Um, oh, I was 80%. So, I was 40 blocks up. Damn. Um... So, the defeat in Evoker, which I think is at the mansion. I don't know about the Frostwalker boats. I still didn't look up that. Um, and the defeat in Elder Guardian means I need to find a mansion and a... A mansion and an ocean temple, which the best way to do that would probably be... To look for a... Town. Look for a village. I mean, there is the village I th up this way, up north. I also didn't do anything with my inventory. So I just have a bunch of shit. Let's, let's go back and get rid of half my inventory. <laughs> or not get rid of, but you know what I mean. Throw it away, throw it away. Throw it into the, into the abyss of, uh, chest. Um... But, like, the village that I already found, I don't know if any of the villagers would be, like, re... Re-initialized? Like, because the cartographer is the one I need to find. Because the cartographer, in theory, should be... Um... I'll keep the pickaxe. Uh, the cartographer... Tar 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 should be what, um, yeah, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. All right, now that all those are away, uh, I need to find a cartographer to hopefully get a map, a treasure map, which I... I I'm going based off of PC stuff, because I know that was in PC. I would assume, because I know they added mansions and stuff, I would assume that means that those are... That those are here. Like, the cartographer's here as well. Meaning I, I would need to find a cartographer to be able to find a mansion. I mean, granted, I could just go and explore and hopefully find one. Same thing with Ocean Temple, but... Especially the Ocean Temple being underwater, it'd be easier to just find a cartographer and get a map from him, buy a map off of him. Um, but I'm assuming I don't have any more maps. Oh, oh, I did not plan out this trip at all. Let's go to the village that I already know is here. Then let's get another map and try to search another area. Or I could just use this one map, use the co coordinates that I have, find a village, then... then come back and make a map. Like, I could just go off exploring, because I really don't know where there would be another village. I have no clue. Uh, so, it's gonna be... All right, so Minecraft crashed, if you couldn't tell, uh, which is weird because usually, like I've had games crash on the Xbox One before, usually it's after I've been playing them for like maybe a few hours, and then it's like, oh, it crashed. Well, sometimes, but I mean, usually it's been longer than like five minutes. Like, oh, you've been playing this game for five minutes? Well. You know what? We're, uh, we, we don't, 
That's a little too long. We don't really want you to be playing Minecraft for that long. So, we're just gonna crash the game. Hope you don't mind. Well, I guess I'm back here. If I have the stuff to make a goddamn map, I guess I'm good. Um... What do I need for a map? I need... Paper, obviously. I think I need eight paper, which I have 15, which sucks, because that means I can make one map. I also need iron. Which I didn't see, but I don't think I opened this chest. I do have 11 iron. That's enough. Because I need two of those. One of those. Uh, let's just take all of it. Who cares? Uh, let, let's take all of it, because I think it's eight paper. But who knows? Maybe it'll be four. Maybe I can make multiple maps. Um, so it's the compass... And yep, an empty map. All right, so I have a empty map. Let's save just because all that preparation's done. <laughs> and maybe the game will crash again. Who knows? It's weird because I've never had Minecraft crash. I feel like maybe I have, and I'm just forgetting. I mean, the only time I would have played console Minecraft would have been during a video. I, I, There were a few episodes where I would like, oh, I'm cleaning up stuff between episodes. But usually those weren't too long, so I never really had it crash. Like, even when I was doing, uh... Doing the, uh... Whatever. <laughs> Good explanation, Eric. Uh, the... Thing. Stuff. What am I trying to say? Uh, even when I was doing the uh, Quest 100% stuff before, and I went into, cr like, it talked about how I went into creative and just flew around, I figured, like, clearing out the maps that fast, and just, like, having everything spawn that fast, that, if anything, would have crashed the game. Not just, hey, I'm walking through a forest. And the game's just like, nope. Nope. Can't handle it. I also... I know the village wasn't here before, uh, like last time I came over here when I did New World Expedition, I didn't regenerate the edges of the map, because regenerating that- What the fuck? Why? Maybe I should have regenerated the edges of the map, apparently one of the edges of the map is fucking- Uh. So if this, if that happens again, what I'm going to do, first of all, what I'm going to do, I didn't think of it last episode, I thought of it literally right now. Turn down the gamma, because it's fucking bright on my TV, and I can't fix it, like, just from adjusting the TV. So, now... In theory. Oh, that's so much better. Lowered the gamma. That's so much better. It's still not great, but it's better. Um. So. That's the only thing I can think of. There's something on the edge of the map that, like, when it generated, it didn't generate properly because what the edge of the map generation does when you have a new world from the Xbox 360 save it cuts off the edge of what it takes the like outer 32 blocks of the original map and completely regenerates them which is why I didn't have the village in New World Expedition 1 I regenerated the edges of the map and I guess the village was included in that edge. But at least the village, you know... At least the... The... Game worked. 
when I did that, so maybe I'll have to... Maybe if I don't have the map out, maybe it was something map related. But I kind of want the map out so I can uh, see everything. Like, I've never heard of any bugs from, like, 360 saves, you know, regenerating the edge of the map, and I figure if there was a bug, like a huge bug related to it, it would have been fixed by now, because the 360 to Xbox One save, it's been around for a while. It's not a new thing. So that's what I'll do to check whether the crash is... There's something on the edge of the map. Like, so, like there's some sort of... Something doesn't want to be found. I think we can be safe in saying that. Thing that sucks is that means I need to regenerate the edge of the map. I, or I need to, re, like, re-import the map because... I don't think I can change it... Oh, not what I wanted to do. Um, because I don't think I can overwrite world edges. Can I do that now? See, the thing is, I don't know if that'll fix it because I've already opened the map. So I don't know if I regenerate, check it to regenerate world edges, will it actually fix the world edges? So if it crashes one more time, I'm just going to re-import it. And I didn't have the map out, so it's not a map-related bug. It's literally something on that edge of the map. Maybe maybe not every edge, because I feel like I'm closer to this edge, and that edge looks fine. Like, that edge, you know, it, it hasn't crashed. Um, But something with that edge of the map is broken. And granted, I could just search around that area, like th the bottom half of the map, but I'd prefer to not have the game break if I happen to go too close to, uh, the, n like, north map. That I, I really don't want to have happen. And if it keeps crashing, like, even after I regenerate the save, like, I might not be able to do this. Because I'd have to, well, I'd have to create an entirely new world. Which, I might have to do all that between episodes, which means this might not be a weekly series. I might need to figure out another game to cover up this hole. Which is bad enough that, uh... If anyone, like, watches more than just the Minecraft videos and watches the, uh... Final Station video this week. I recorded it literally right before this, and... God damn it. I... So basically, that's not gonna be a series. In addition to that, this keeps crashing. <sighs> I hate everything. <laughs> Are there any PlayStation 1 games that I can uh, do as a series? Because at this point, it's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm gonna have to just retrieve Xbox 360 save again. So this is gonna take a while. While we're waiting for it. How have you guys been? Good? I was good up until today. God damn it. That's two videos in a row that I've recorded that just went terrible today. One because the game's just frustrating as fuck and one because the game's just not working. Some for some reason that took way less time than I thought. Uh, all right, journey to the end. Let's switch it to normal. More options. Okay, reset the end, disable autosave. Go for large again. Overwrite world edges. Keep in the... Okay, all these are fine. I 
So it wouldn't have reset world edges because once I made it big, it wouldn't have uh, made it smaller again. Like it wouldn't have reset the edges that were already generated. So checking off reset world edges wouldn't have done anything. Now, now that I think about it, that makes a lot of sense. I was just crossing my fingers that there was something. Jesus Christ. So I'm, I'm wondering what the fuck it did to cause that. Like, what the fuck did it do to cause the entire game to crash if I get too far north? Like, I feel like... I feel like that was a pretty big flaw in the, uh, terrain generation. At least it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to, to import again. I thought I th I thought I remembered it taking longer. Uh huh. All right. So we got four of those. One of those. And uh, let's just do half. Yeah, eight of those. Plus the map that I already have. And just make a compass and a map. Here we go. So the map, we're there. Now if it fucks up again... I have to make a new world from scratch. And I'm already frustrated enough today. So this episode, if it crashes again, is just going to be a really short episode. Compared to, you know, all the other episodes. I say really short, it's still going to be like 20 minutes, but really short compared to episodes of every other game I ever play. They usually end up being like 45 minutes, even though at the 30 minute mark, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm thinking I'm like, oh yeah, I should wrap this up. And then it goes an extra 15 minutes after that. Um, Especially Minecraft, I feel like, because Minecraft's one of those, while I'm doing something, I feel like I need to continue. Like, I feel like I need to finish what I'm doing, or get to a good place to stop. So Minecraft always seems to be one of those that ends up taking longer than originally expected. Although then again, that pretty much describes every game. Like, oh, I want to get to a good place to stop. And then it, it just goes longer. Especially when I'm at like 29 minutes, and I'm like, I should end the episode. You know what? I can do another level, and then... That, that level takes another 15 minutes, and it's like, oh, yeah, probably shouldn't have done this level. Hey, found Portal Oasis by climbing over everything. Um, was it Portal Oasis that was crap? No, I might have just walked past Portal Oasis, because I, I remember I didn't hit Portal Oasis before, but maybe I just uh, walked by it. I'm trying, I'm like genuinely trying to think of what would have caused it to crash that bad. To just, like, and it was consistent. It wasn't like, oh, this will crash sometimes. It was like every single time I did it, it crashed. Although I think I'm further, so maybe it was Portal Oasis. Maybe it was once I got close to the portal. Something with the nether, something just it exploded. It's just like, oh, well, there's supposed to be a portal here. We're trying to generate something. Uh, we can't. Fuck it. Let's just break the game. The game's gone. No, nothing to see here. That's pretty much exactly what happened. What am I doing? Um, just walk around. Rather than trying to go up through trees and failing miserably. Alright. Don't. Don't, don't do that to me, game. Don't lag like that. So, I guess, at the very least, we can go see where the village was. Since now I had to regenerate the edge boundaries. I might not have had to, maybe... Like, that's the only thing I could think of that was that I didn't do that was different. I didn't regenerate the boundaries. Maybe it was just something in the new generation that fucked up. But I honestly don't know what would have caused that. Like, it's, that's weird. 
and it, and it sucks because I'll never know what caused it because I can't get to the point to see what caused it. Like I'm sure even if I go into creative, it'll just it'll just crash. That was uh, love how it took 15 minutes just to get to get going in the game, all because the game just was like, you know what? Mm, I'm gonna keep crashing. I don't. You don't. You don't want to play Minecraft today. And I'm like, you're right. I rarely want to play Minecraft, but I do want to record a video. I do want to hopefully find a village and feel like I'm making progress. And you just cut 17 minutes out of that progress. Like, I, I could have been doing something for the 17 minutes rather than trying to do something. Like, you're trying to save me from Minecraft, guess what? I'm still playing it whether or not you want me to. Also, I have no idea where the village was originally. Did I, did I already pass where it was? Or is it completely cut out? Because I think last time it wasn't completely cut out. There was still, like, remains of houses. But I'm not positive. Yeah, it, it it's exactly, almost exactly what happened last time. Although I th don't know if it was a mountain last time. But it was something similar to this. Alright. So yeah, this is pointless now. The, the village is abandoned. Um, I wonder if Lodge... I wonder if the... Because I remember last time there was a village, like, I think to the north? Let's check the north map, because I doubt there's anything on the outskirts of this map, so... I don't really need to use this map to explore. Ooh, got a cool cave system here. Let's keep that in mind. That's right on the edge of the map. Um, I feel like... But last time there was a village to the north that got regenerated. It, like, wasn't far from the original village. I don't know if that has anything to do with the seed. And also, fuck you. I'm off the map. Why'd you re... Hmm. Fuck off. I'll pick it up. Good. I'll pick it up. Doesn't matter. Okay. So now I'm just exploring. I was off the map. Why? So I guess I'm going based on the coordinates. I just want to see if I can find anything. Uh, My guess, no. I'm assuming I'll probably have to go into, like, creative mode and fly around and hopefully find a village that ends up staying there. And hopefully once I get there is the same village as I found before. I'm still not sure what happened there when I was going in creative mode, flying around, looking for, like, clearing up the maps, looking for villages, looking for ocean temples and stuff. But then when I went into survival, none of the stuff was there. I'm... I'm thinking there's still, like, if you go onto a map, or, like, you get, the closer you get to certain chunks, that's when they generate. I'm guessing they don't generate from the beginning. You have to be close enough. Hey, guess what? Went north, found another village. I'm, I, I, I'm wondering if that does have something to do with, like, the, the seed of the, the world. Like, maybe it said, hey... It, It'll spawn a village here, but because there's new stuff, because there's new uh, biomes and new... Oh, wait. Oh, that's a donkey. Never mind. I, I was thinking, wait, I need to find a llama. That's a donkey. That's clearly not a, not a llama. That's chicken. Um. Alright, so I found a decent-sized village. Are any of you cartographers? I don't remember what you wear. I think they wear white? Shepherd... For, okay, so he wanted coal, the one. He wants wool. Coal, wool, coal. So we got an armor and a, sh a shepherd and a weaponsmith so far. 
gotta be more people around. You one of the ones? Toolsmith, also coal. So it's basically find coal, which should be everywhere, like that shouldn't be too difficult. Or f f sheer sheep, which I have a million sheep, so that also shouldn't be too bad. Um, alright, I guess I'll take these. Don't really need them, but... Especially didn't need the obsidian, don't know why I... Now, I'm gonna be honest, I've never noticed the farm- Like, that was actually in the patch notes, saying that the farmers will... Oh, shit! When did that happen? I can change- What the fuck? I can change the equip- Whether it's equip based on it being in the- The toolbar? When did that happen? That's cool. Anyway, farmer. <laughs> Wheat, potatoes, and carrots. Uh, So, I can get emeralds by giving you the stuff that is right here. Alright. I'm fine with that. So, if I farm for him, essentially... That's fine. Oh, there's two armorers. So I have, like, two armorers, like, all kinds of smiths, but n n and farmers. There's another armorer. God damn it! Why is it nothing but weaponsmiths and such? Why isn't there anyone that can do a fucking map? I mean, th this is cool and all. It's a good place for... Might be a good place for, uh... Especially if I fix my farm at home, I could, it'd be a good place for emeralds. But, Jesus Christ. I need a fucking map made. And now it's dark. I also don't have a boat. Which, from what I read, uh, now the boat crafting recipe is changed. Because it used to just be... Uh, oh, I saw that zombie pop in. It used to be f like five, just five pieces of wood. Just the left, right, and then the entire bottom row. Now apparently, there's lava over here. Now apparently it's uh... You, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I know you need a wooden shovel. Which is still not bad, because it's one piece of wood and then two sticks. So it's not like it really raises the resources. But I'm guessing the wooden shovel is supposed to be because now they have ores, so they're going to change it to make it look more like a realistic recipe. Because it's not just a boat, you got ores, you got stuff to throw with. So you need wooden shovels for it. Or at least a wooden shovel. Which, like, yeah, it, it's not that bad. It doesn't really raise the resource amount. It's just one of those, it's, it's a pain in the ass, because it's another step. It's already bad enough that I need to go to a crafting table to do stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea where anything is. Like, I have no idea where to get Boots of Frost walking. I have no idea where to get llamas. I also don't have any leads, so... Even if I could do anything with llamas, uh, or even if I did find a place with llamas, I'm kind of screwed in that sense. And I need a fucking cartographer. So I can cartograph. I need, uh, I need a treasure map. Please. Anyone. Hello? I'm in the tundra. Just in frozen tundra. There's no, uh... I don't see any polar bears or anything. I see literally nothing. It's just... T snow. And, like, t random enemy mobs spawning in, because... Good. I need those. I need things to blow me up and poison me and shoot me with arrows. Well, not poison me, because, well, if there's a witch, they could poison me. I, I, I was going to say there's no cave spiders, but I forgot about witches. They're a thing. I seriously have no idea where to go, though. Let's see. Okay. 
maybe if I enter these maps, though, because then it's in the game, it's like, even though I don't have them on a map, it's kind of like saved in the game. Then if I go into the game and fly around in creative, it'll be the same. Like, that's still my theory, because also when I went into the different areas with different maps, the save file got larger, so that's the only thing I can think of, that the the areas aren't generated, like, actually generated until you get close to them. And maybe, like, the terrains were similar, but maybe that, that has to do with the, the seed for the the, uh, thing. You know what I mean? The seed for the world. Maybe it, it, it ends up making it similar, but with some slight differences. The slight difference being there were no goddamn villages anywhere. So, hopefully, hopefully, That'll change, because I feel like I'm going to have to, because at this point, I I wasted the one map that I had. I have no idea where anything would be. It's really a matter of, I need to... I just need to find a village. Like, I found the one, but it had nothing but goddamn, like, blacksmiths. Had, like, three armorers. Why do I need three people making armor? Why does one town need three people making armor? You have three armorers, one weaponsmith, one toolsmith, and then the farmer. Have someone making maps. You also had a library, but no librarian. You didn't even have that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just swimming. There's nothing happening. I should make a boat, but that means I need to collect wood, make a crafting table, collect more wood, and then make a boat. You know, when I say it like that, it really doesn't sound like a lot of work, and it sounds like I'm just whining for no reason. But you know what? It's the principle of the thing. The principle being that, fuck it, I don't want to make a boat. What is that? Is that just an island? That looks interesting it looks like an interesting island like from this distance and in the dark it looks like it might be like the top of a temple but i'm pretty sure the ocean temples don't stick out of the water like that so i'm sure it's just an island but from this distance it it looks interesting see the ideal situation wouldn't really be fine well I mean, I guess the ideal situation would still be finding a village. Other, like, potentially ideal situation, not just finding a village, but accidentally running across a, a freaking, uh, mansion. That's the word. I forget the word mansion. How did I forget the word mansion? What is wrong with me? Uh, okay, so this is just an island with an enderman on it. Cool. That's useful. That's useful for anything. Okay, I, I want to wait till it's daytime because I would prefer not to start the game next episode immediately in danger. So I want to either get home or have it be daytime. That's the only reason I haven't stopped yet. Also because I'll also haven't stopped because I'm really holding out hope that I'm going to find something. What is that? Oh, that was a cow. It looked really weird because I only saw part of the cow and it's dark. And it's sunny outside in real life, so I actually have glare on the screen. I probably should have closed my blinds, but I didn't. I didn't do that, so... um, I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, sun's coming up, so I'm almost out of immediate danger. I also want to go south enough to be in the east map. 
because then that one I could also explore and hopefully get an accurate representation of what's contained within it before I go back west home. Although at this point, I don't know why I'd be going home. There's really nothing there. I th it's not like I have the... Do I have any sugarcane? I did have a sugarcane. What the fuck? How did I find this? I also don't have any torches, but then again, I didn't expect to be going outside at all. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Saddle as well? Let's take that. A book! Ooh, Curse of Binding! Awesome. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here and not die. What is the Curse of Binding? I feel like that... I feel... Like, you, you see a book... That has just red text all over it? Kinda seems like the kind of book that you don't really want to pick up. Like, I feel like I'm fucked now. Like... Can I throw this book away? Okay, so it's not bound to me yet. I was like, is this, is this like stuck in my inventory? Did, did I, did I fuck up picking up Curse Binding? Curse Binding book? Did I, did I, did I, I don't know. Alright. So I think I'm in the East map. I think, yeah, I'm, my dot is down now. My dot is moving south. So, found pumpkins. There are pumpkins over there. I see literally nothing around. I mean, mostly just because there's trees and mountains around. I'm not, I don't really have the high ground. I can't look around, but I see nothing. I, God. So I found a village. That was something. Granted, the village had the worst anything. Like, I was just terrible. I mean, like like I said, it could be useful because of the farmer to get emeralds, but as for any th achievement that I'm trying to go for, not really useful in the slightest. So. There's nothing really, I don't see anything out. I want to see if I can get up here. Before I end the episode, I want to see if I can get up here and see anything. Just. I want to end with vantage point. Maybe I'll see something. Maybe I'll see a mansion. Which would. Uh, I wouldn't go to it because I realize I need torches. So at the very least, I need to try to find coal, mine it out, and stuff. Oh, good. I'm like, yeah, let's go up here. This seems like this will be a good idea. No, no, not really. Okay, I have to mine my way up, because... God forbid it gives me a, a convenient path to the top. Hey, speaking of coal, found some. Okay, this is way taller than I thought it was. Am I up the top? Am I up the top? I'm at the top. Guess what? I see nothing. I see another pool of lava burning down trees. Uh, but there's literally nothing around. <laughs> it's literally just mountains. Like, there's no villages, nothing within viewing distance. Alright. So. Uh, next episode... Well, between episodes, I'll probably go into creative and fly around and try to find something. Uh, other than that, we'll see what happens next episode. I Because I need to find... I also need to look up how to do the frost, frost boots and all of that stuff. Because uh, I'm not entirely sure. I could also go to the end, try to take out the Ender Dragon for the third time in this world, technically. And then hopefully find enough shulkers to do that achievement. 
That's always a possibility. If I find nothing else, I could always go for that achievement. Uh, but anyway, for now, I'm going to end this episode here. So thanks for watching. See you next time.